Hold on, I'm not wearing a shirt. I know, right? Ba 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 ba. I didn't realize there's really creepy music going on. Holy shit. Blah. Blah. Jesus Christ. Let's turn that down a little bit. We don't want sepia. Okay. I think this is actually legitimately more creepy than I was expecting. Regardless, hello everybody out there in video game land. I'm Ray Danger, and this is, ooh, what's the name of this game? The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Now, I've been, uh, I've been interested, okay, I haven't heard a goddamn thing about this game until very, very recently when I watched someone else play it for a little bit. And I was like, okay, I'll take a look at it on Steam. And the cool thing, the really cool thing, is that it mentions stuff about, like, Lovecraftian horror? But it's an FMV game where you're using text-based responses to figure out a murder, mystery, daily, whatever. I have no godly idea what the hell it means. I do not care. It's gonna be awesome. Everybody who's in the hello chat... We're gonna go ahead and fucking... We're gonna fucking get started. Let's check out what the help says. Be a psychiatrist! Now we're fucking talking. Don't just grill people about the murder. Try and help them. Ask them how they are and try to find the root of their problem. If nothing else, it may uncover the motives you're looking for. Use keywords or questions. You can just use keywords or full questions to speak to your patients. Questions are generally better as you may find more responses that way. Decker will look to see if a patient has anything to say about Dr. Decker in general. Did you like Decker? Or did you kill Decker? Might reveal something else entirely. Be specific, no context. Instead of asking, why do you keep going? You should ask, why do you keep going to the beach? The patients have no concept of context. Okay. Some patients will pose a question. It's okay to answer it just in case they want a response. Do you like apples, doctor? Yes, I like apples. Or no, I hate apples. Might just break a story open for you. Caught in a lie. Contradiction. I'm fucking good at this. Sometimes patients contradict themselves. I hate cats. I love all animals. Call them up on this by asking about both at once. You say you love animals, but you hate cats. Or hate cats, love animals. Hey cats, must cat love animals. You can draw conclusions from what a patient tells you and use it to probe further. I get angry when I see red. My car is red. You might ask, does your car make you angry? Or car angry, car angry, drive angry. If you're stuck, play back the patient's previous responses and make sure there's nothing you've missed. If something seems like a keyword you haven't used before, try it, no matter how ridiculous it seems. You may become stuck when multiple keywords need to be guessed at, one, so try, so, so typing full questions is more helpful at this stage. Don't forget to check your notes. You might be surprised what you find there. Spend more time in the responses tab. Start responses contain clues that should be followed up and are updated or removed after every successful question. Two start responses must be followed up to progress. Follows fails, type hint. Fuck hints. We will go no hints, at least tonight. Oh, and uh, just a note. I'm eating the Ruffles all-dressed fucking Canadian-ass ketchup chips. Yeah. Number one flavor in Canada. Boom. I'm Canadian it up tonight. It's the best. I can saw it right from the next act. 
you can keep questioning to find all the responses and turn them green, but you don't have to. Remember, the more you uncover, the more you are choosing your own mind. What? Help video. Let's take a look at the help video. Okay. Huh. Oh. How is that a video? Let's go, a new game. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why what? I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? I can see people's dreams. I've, uh, set up an experiment. Oh, boy. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Have you heard of it? Oh! If I concentrate hard enough... That's a guy from Contradiction. And I know when the person's going to be asleep. I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement. Something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. Sometimes, when I walk through a door, it takes me somewhere else. Literally, somewhere else. God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman evolve. What, what was once on? chaotic becomes well, more ordered. Chaotic neutral to door -to -door neutral. neutral. Double glazing, probably. Dr. Yeah. Decker. I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. I've seen its silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Oh. Because I can see things other people can't. On the basis that the central component of our universe is chaos, science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. They arrested me. Which means that what you get at for streaking. any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. No matter how much chaos that would cause. Yeah, man, you turn I thought it like you this, were supposed to fix me. You make I'm a little decky. You, it's eating people. And you're just laughing. You're insane, Doctor. Oh, I'm so glad he's in this. I really Listen hope he's in this. Listen to me. Well. You're not listening. It's your only bloody job. I'm listening. I mean, you guys don't make a lot of sense, but I'm listening. Is that the telltale heart? Late. And after all those promises, never mind, Doctor. let's not keep the pace. You're late. And after all those Doctor. promises. You're late. You're and after late. all those and after all those promises, never mind. Uh Ricky. Alright. Oh, this is exciting. This is super exciting. Doctor. Late, and after all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. Yeah, I'm not. And if you want anything, just oh, sorry, I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? Yeah, of course we care. Good. Sure. Anyway, I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I, I think am not. Mariana is in first, uh -huh. but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. Yeah. I'll see you later. Or tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. I'll all leave right. it to you then. We'll see you tomorrow then. It's a nice green couch. It looks really uncomfortable. They have Dot next to them. Red, keep talking to them. Amber, you're done. They're yellow? Is it amber? Is that? Going green is optional. Do not need to go green. Watch replay is the response tab. Look for stars. Hmm. Okay, so double stars. All right. So that's when we need to delve deeper. Delving deeper. We're gonna delve deeper. Okay. Use the patient's words against them. Twist it about. Make them seem helpless and stupid. That's what we're here for. Include a yes or no when answering patients. Use context. Say, yes, I like cats. Not yes. When green is intentionally hard. Hints will be required. 
set hint cooldown in options. All right. Well, here we go. Let's start with, uh, oh. Hi, hi, lady. You seem nice. All right, well, oof. The mouse is super tiny and kind of hard to see. Uh, okay. Verbal mirroring. A new study in psychology yesterday suggests using the same words as your patients increases trust, including a yes or no when answering questions gives them clear direction. All right. Let's start with this lady. How are you? I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? The police keep picking me up for public nudity. Why do you go nude in public? I black out. Huh? And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. Okay. Oh, how about we start with this? What is your name? I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling fine. Okay. Do you feel okay? Like you're not listening. Uh, okay. What do you do? That doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, okay, do you have a job? I work for myself. Okay. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. I spend a lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come with me one day. I can show you all the sights. Uh, okay. Do you like the beach? Have we talked about that already? Beach. helping with my blackouts. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. What? But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Anxiety. Dr. Decker thought I had generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, because mm -hmm. of the blackouts. He thought I was breathing badly. Do you think I'm breathing badly? You're breathing fine. Breathing? You can check my breathing if you want. Do you want me to lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it, just if you are. I do okay. suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath. Holding breath? I hold my breath when I'm swimming underwater. Most people do. Oh yeah, that's true. Sometimes, if I'm really excited, I'll hold my breath accidentally. Just for a few seconds. I don't know why. Do you like... Like holding your breath? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, not beating. Breathing odd. S swim. I'm a great swimmer. I won all these medals at school. Oh, I can hold my breath a really long time. It's a really- Too long. Really. I got an achievement. All right. 
Do I still have a... Uh... Still got stuff here. Blackouts. Full name. Nope. Don't know. What? What is your last name? Okay. Does she remember anything during? Sustained any injuries? Injuries during blackout. No, nothing like that. Oh, okay. I usually wake up on my side like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm partially covered by seaweed. The fuck? Remember anything in blackouts? By blackout, I mean I don't really remember anything from the time I black out. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. Getting them achievements like nobody's business. There's more people, but I wanna I wanna keep talking with her. I have a necklace. Can I talk about your necklace? I don't know. Cthulhu. Well, that's a little weird. Lovecraft. No, I don't know about that. That was weird. <sighs> so, s how about seaweed? I don't have an answer for that. Ah, yeah, I don't know. Theo... Theo, you walked into some crazy shit right over here. Let me let me just show you what this lady said about when she blacks out. No, nothing like that. I usually wake up. I'm on a psychiatrist. My side, like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm partially covered by seaweed. Yo, Marlon, how you doing, man? I finally got you to check up on one of my streams. You doing alright, dude? I'm very happy to see you. I'm happy to see a bunch of folks in here. I've got, um... So the idea of this game is that you're supposed to ask questions and... Yeah, hey, lady. And kind of... Figure out stuff. There's a lot weird going on here. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for asking, sir. Uh, ocean? You like the ocean? I don't know about that. <laughs> Beach. Blackout. Are you whisper whistling over there? Yeah. Hmm. Ocean black. Okay. So the idea is to poke more and try to get more at their questions. I'm already having a tricky time. Do you like the beach? Do you like the blackouts? I have no idea about that. She's kind of hot and she can fade out from existence. I'm in. Totally, right? And she ain't wearing any shoes, so... She's definitely got the look going on. She's a pretty lady. You can deal with it. So for the folks who have, like, the foot fetish deal... Going all out! Uh, let me see. Let me give me... Let's take a hint. 
Hmm. All right. Holding breath. Cause blackouts. I'm confused. Which bit should I answer first? <laughs> okay. Does holding your breath cause the blackouts? There's more than one question there. Break it down for me. Cause of blackouts. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? Do you want to dance for me? Yes. I like dancing. Cool. I dance to anything with a beat. Well, this That's actually kind of cool. Oh yeah, what kind of dancing? What kind of dancing do you like? I dance a lot at nightclubs. Right. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. Are we talking here? Yeah, it's a little bit of the bounce. Do you like to drink? Oops. It'd be good if I actually spelt stuff. That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, do you like to drink vodka? I don't drink. Uh, no. You drink at clubs, but you don't drink? I don't know. You're, you're a liar. You are a, a dirty liar. I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know right? most She's of the nightclubs lying. around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. You don't like to drink vodka, but you drink vodka at clubs? No! I'm trying to catch her in a contradiction here. Oh, Guilty's playing some Dead by Daylight. Fucking jerk ain't coming over here watching me play. What a jackass. What a jackass. Hold on. Something I want to change. Ten responses. What do they mean? Okay. Wow. Two percent. Jeez. Let me put Seppi on. I know. What a friggin' jackass. Search has made 16 out of 208. I could definitely take some more suggestions from the chat if they are willing and interested. We got more questions for her. Lying. My hopes about vodka. I don't drink. Yeah, there's some high tech going on here. You don't drink? I don't have an answer for that. Yeah, you do. Don't lie to me. You don't drink vodka? There was a help thing. I don't know what that is. God, the, the mouse is so damn tiny. Oh, here you go. Why do you like the... Oh. The Pearl is great because the people are so relaxed. I think that's got a lot to do with the cheap vodka shots. Or maybe it's just the black lighting. Who knows? not really helping with my blackouts. Of course it is. Cheap vodka? Okay. Mm -hmm. There was a thing in the help section that talked about 
Mm. Associative leaps. Hate cats, love animals. Okay. So, don't drink like, huh? Don't drink cheap vodka. Damn it. Allergies? Allergies? I don't know about that. Are you allergic to anything? That doesn't really mean anything to me. Do you dye your hair? When I wake up, my hair is dry, oh. but it's pretty hot at the moment. I get baked quickly by the sun. It's possible I've been in the sea during my blackout. What? In the water during your blackout? Sea blackout. Sometimes I go swimming in the sea. I don't always black out. Do you like swimming? <laughs> yeah, is she a mermaid? Swimming in the sea? Do you like the sea? God damn it. Do you like the sea? Be crazy. I don't know, teeth. That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, fine. Grammar. Nope. Don't know. I'm glad they have a bunch of different responses for that. Is there anything nuts? Hurt blackout? Police blackout. I think they think I'm a naturist or something. <laughs> Hi. They picked me up five times in the last month. Whoa. Why did the police pick you up? Okay. Arrested? I don't know. Naked! I never find my clothes. I don't know why I'm naked. Do you take your clothes off? Naked blackout. Why is she not wearing shoes? It's slightly disconcerting. How do you feel? Is anyone... Oh. Do you see things when you black out? Black Mount. Right, what did you say here? I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. 
and work it out. Oh, how, okay, let's ask that. How did Jack work it out? That's a bit confusing. One at a time, maybe? Oh, okay, so I need to split it up. Um, usually when she gives a response like that, <laughs> do you do drugs? Drugs? That doesn't mean anything to me. You're a liar. You're a druggie and a liar. Do you do drugs? I have no idea about that. Liar. A druggy drug drugger. Okay. How did Decker help you? I'm confused. Which bit should I answer first? <laughs> help you? That's not really helping with my blackouts. It's as bad as I thought. She's in denial. Did Decker help you? Dr. Decker was okay. fine. He had good relationships with his patients. He's the doctor who was I'm with these sure patients before me. Oh boy. Did you kill Decker? Okay. There was something else in this one that I wanted to go I through. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But. Why are we making those leaps? Um, breath? Holding like that. Hmm. How does having the blackouts make you feel? Yeah, right. Symptoms. No. Nope. Breath holding and swimming. No, I don't know about that. At least I spelled swimming wrong. This lady's too goddamn cute. All right, fine. Hint. Dancing causes her blackouts? Do... Dancing and blackouts. You think my dancing causes my blackouts? Yeah, I don't know. No, the game I know it's me. the last thing I remember, but I don't think it's that. Sometimes I remember more, but I'm tired now. <laughs> oh. Is that it for today? Oh. What? What's she looking at? Um. No, I'm not done with you yet. How does all this make you feel? <sighs> I already asked you that. Go ahead. Hint cooldown. Oh, uh -huh. I can only hint so often here. That's interesting. Drinking and dancing? Drinking and blackouts. Hmm. Do you drink before you blackout? We another hit. Not a hint. I don't have an answer for that. Oops. Doesn't really mean anything to me. That's a lie. Ecstasy. I don't know about that. What else is it called? Uh, what do you got? MDA, right? 
I have no idea about that. Liar. A dirty, dirty, red-haired liar. Wet. Black. Are you wet after you blackout? Try blackout. Hmm. Yeah, Molly. Molly and Percocet are too. Molly is the. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Alright, give me another hint. Oh, when did she ask if I was feeling okay? I feel okay. I don't know. Party. Nope. Don't know. Clubs. No, I don't know about that. <sighs> Wouldn't she ask if I was feeling okay? Yes, I feel okay. That's what Dr. Decker would say. Okay. So, I still got some more stuff with the breathing. You can check my breathing if you want. Do you want me to lie down? I want to check your breathing. I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, it could, but I don't remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. I'm telling you, man. Oh, all right, so it actually knocked off the stuff for breathing. So I'm still missing something over here. Why do you black out? I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange, as I can hold my breath for a really long time. What does that have to do with it? But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Are you cured? I don't have an answer for that. Hmm. Do you want sex? Wow. Let's get straight to it then. I'm not sure I feel comfortable speaking with you about that at the moment. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually do. <laughs> have sex with me. Yeah, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I like how they picked her as like the first one, because uh yeah, alright, no. Uh oh okay, okay, give me your number. That's not really helping with my blackouts. Oh, I'm gonna help you with your blackouts, let me tell you. How oops. That's actually a good question. How long can you hold your breath for? Oh. Oh, that's right, because she said... You wake up... What? When I wake up on the beach, I normally feel refreshed, which is okay, here we go. weird, right? I'm not scared. Not yet. I just want to know what's going on. Let's take another hint. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking for before. What did Decker work out? Maybe sleepwalking. He eventually decided it wasn't anxiety, but I'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis. Mm. We should have a fresh start. I don't want you influenced by the prognosis. Um, yes. Final. Diagnosis. I want to stop having the blackouts. Hell yeah, man. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. You're so 
suggest anything that might help? Is she... Is that yellow? Oh! I got a thing. Perhaps maybe we should stop going to the beach and record her visits. Yeah, what's your Twitter, lady? Yo, girl, can I have your number? Can I have your number? Uh, stop going to the beach. I love the beach. Until somebody tells me it's gonna kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? It's about to be a real personal question. Like, yes, I have been addicted to something. Addicted. I thought so when I first saw you. We should get on great. <laughs> All right. I think I'm pretty good with her, though. Also. Record your visits to the beach. That'd be good if I spelled visits right. I film myself doing um, lots of things. It's not so easy to do when you're rocked out. Maybe, uh... Alright. Take someone with you to the beach. Uh, Alright. Can you show me them, uh... Mm-hmm. Show me your boobs. My girlfriend has zero reaction to me saying that. Show me your boobs. Not you. I'm talking to a lady. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Bullshit. I'm pretty sure you've heard that before. Whatever. She's she's orange, so I think we can move on to one of these other people. All right. So we have Claire, Ellen, Bryce, and Nathan. I don't want to move away from this lady, though, because she's kind of cool. Let's go see Nathan. What's going on? How are you, Nathan? Then. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and yeah, over, right. nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? No, you are not in purgatory. No. Sorry. No sorry what? Do you have a job? Sorry. Got nothing. Alright, Mr. Ne <laughs> Evangelion Cthulhu What? I don't know. Lies. Lovecraft. I can't answer that. <laughs> yes, he eats cereal with water. He's one of those types. Breakfast? I don't have anything to say about that. How about dinner? I don't know anything about that. You don't know about dinner? Have you ever had dinner? What is your favorite, favorite food? I don't have an answer to that question, as always. Alright. Problem? Purgatory? Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. Repeating... day? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. I didn't ask you yesterday. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. This guy is having a uh, death. What? I don't 
Decker. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him, but he won't remember it that way. Why won't he remember that way? Why won't Decker? I need context. Decker. As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five, ten, fifty times before I got to Tuesday. What? Groundhog <laughs> Day? I watched that Bill Murray film. Yeah! yeah. To see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's got. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Yes, I can help you. I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. This this is our first time around, and yeah. I trust you. Good. All right. Good. No. Well, whatever. I'm I'm a psychiatrist. I've got to help him. All right. So, what's going on with him? Uh, I don't really have anything. Let's see. Uh, hint. Introduction. I'm Nathan Peel. All right. I'm a supermarket worker. Nathan Peel, <laughs> leave. Hell. Get away. Where do you work? I can't answer that. <sighs> Did you like Decker? Did you kill Decker? Mm. <laughs> Actually, I wonder, do you know the other patients? I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, that was actually a decent idea. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him. Happened. To Monday. <sighs> what do you know about Decker's murder? Dr. Decker's murder was sudden. Brutal. Brutal. It's terrible. It's brutal. Doctor. Doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks. I had of rolling days, no do-overs, no Monday, Monday, Monday. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? Few things seem to move me forward. How did Decker die? I actually don't know how Decker died. Huh. Rolling day? To move forward, I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound. Like a death or some other tragedy. It's not enough to hear it or read it. I've, I've got to see it. I suppose from that point of view, it looks like I'm in control of things. Do you lose control? I'm not in control, Doctor. Look at me. I'm broken. You need to help me. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he killed him. <laughs> so you didn't see it. You didn't see it. But the cat leapt up and grabbed on to Michelle's chair in the back and just kind of tipped her backwards and she sort of lost her shit a little bit. That was really fucking funny. And now he's just licking, now the other one's licking him. Get him! These guys are fucking adorable. He also had, 
Is it just you, Marlin, in the chat? There's got to be somebody else in the chat. Who else is in the chat? Have I got more more lurkers in the chat? Or is it just the one? All right. Well, what? Yeah, it was it was crazy. The cats are ready to go. Meow. Meow. No, Duke's just looking at me like you fucking jerk. All right. What else we got? Hint. Oh, there you go. Why was Decker complex? I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were alike for him in the end. Like he couldn't decide what to do with himself. Decker out of control. Decker. Shit, I just had something. I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker. Decker conflict. He was like a kid in a sweet shop. He had so many options, he didn't know what to do. I suppose if you take too long picking, all your options run away. Options Decker. Weird. Okay. I'm not getting any notes for him. It's very interesting. I miss Mariana already. That'd be some shit otherwise. Yeah, right? Health Decker? Okay. I think we pulled out all the stuff for Decker. Uh, I don't really have any other place to go. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave. Montage? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. I d no, we didn't. I didn't talk to you yesterday. I don't know anything about it. Did we talk already? Sorry, got nothing. It's like, yeah, we've already had this conversation 16 times. I get real bad with hints, I'm telling you. I get real bad with hints. Stop doing drugs. Drugs! I don't have anything to say. You're on drugs, too. Every one of you is on drugs. Jesus. Oh, shit. What was the hint? What did the fucking hint say? Damn it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a big fucking idiot. That's cool. I can only do the ones that actually give me responses. It's, it did say something. Thank you. I have to wait another 50 fucking seconds. Uh, but... Same day? Changes in day. I don't have an answer to that question. As always. Does life stop? No. Sorry. Progress. No. Sorry. Life. Damn it. Life progress. I don't know. Back to hint. Hint. What changes during the day? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. Uh, changes. I can't answer. What change? Damn it. Changes during the rolling days. Rolling day. What was it again? To move forward, I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound. 
lying? I don't have anything to say. Uh -huh. I'm sure you don't. I don't think that hint's helping me out too much. Also, can I change that cooldown? I think I can change that cooldown. Oh, that's not uh, options. Uh, 60. Yeah, that's fine. Say interested dog. This guy, Nathan, is killing me. What? Oh, wait a minute. What is in your pocket? What? I don't know. Do you like me? I don't have an answer to that question, as always. Have you repeated today? Sorry, I've got nothing. Boy, if you don't check, <laughs> there's got to be something in your pocket. Why does nobody wear shoes around here? <laughs> Being a psychiatrist is fucking hard. Nothing changes? Sometimes. Ah, okay, here we go. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak, or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event to change, like a murder. Text bigger. I don't know anything about. You know anything about murder? Oh, yeah, tragic. You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. What tragic event? I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. Oh, it's we got a slow zoom. Pulled out, and the lorry just rammed me. Well, and she was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through. That was five years ago. Okay. Who is Hannah? I don't know. Sorry. Recom. Uh, bus. What? I don't know. Did you ever die? I can't answer that. Hannah. Oh, I think I spelled it wrong. Hannah? My fiance. Ah. My yeah. childhood sweetheart. We met at secondary school. She was head girl. I was the quiet one. Of course you were. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. A girl who likes video games. She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. He proposed Sorry. to her in Goldshire. Goldcraft. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on that. That's really fucking funny. So we had to level up because she didn't like elves. <laughs> Literally, wow, World of Warcraft. I know, right? Nerd! I don't know anything about <laughs> Um, Hannah dead? Did Hannah die? 
it is kind of charming. Right, what else we got for hands? Are you here because of the accident? I've been strung for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. A mistake. Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. What mistake? No. I can't move backwards any more than a day. I don't really seem to control it. It's generally always on. I have to try and change something to move forward. Mm. What else about that tragic event? I didn't see the driver. Were you driving during the accident? Okay. Can you love... I don't have an answer to that question, as always. Do you love me? Sorry, got nothing. He's got no emotions for me. Do your balls hang low? Hang low? Hang low? Hang low. No, sorry. His balls do not hang low. Nate. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> you don't have anything to say about you. Are you dead? No, sorry. Yeah, I was. I wanted you to be dead. Hint. Do you think that's a good? That's a good actual psychologist question. Do you think the accident was your fault? I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well, being treated for depression happens. I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? Oh. Ah, all right. Well, we finished up Nathan. Let's try, uh, let's try Bryce. So, so, so far, we have Mariana, who blacks out after she goes clubbing Something about breathing. She wakes up off the ocean naked. Cool. Nathan has repeat day oh, Don't fucking wave at me, bastard. Nathan has repeat days and deja vu. All right. Well, I don't think I don't think deja vu is so much the, uh, the idea. It's weird that I didn't get any notes for him like at all. Let me turn that. Let me turn this back up. Put it up to normal. I've got 50 out of 203 responses. 30% of the act right. overall. Wow. How many acts are there? Let's go to Bryce. Oh boy. Hi. I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? Uh. No. Uh, oh. No. I did not know Decker. He was an antagonistic psycho. Whoa! I hope you're not from the same school of thought. Doctor. Doctor. Do you like Doctor Who? No, sorry. That's fine. Nobody likes Doctor Who. What is the problem? Originally, I was suffering with depression. No. Mm -hmm. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. Okay. I wasn't used to all the failure. Your collar is. Uh, I got depressed. Kind of the wrong way. Yeah. Right. Why were you depressed? You'd think being a grave digger had its perks. Whoa, it grave digger! Stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. 
And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Extra hour? At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. I fucking love this game. <laughs> this shit is so crazy. Midnight oh. hour. Yeah, I know, right? Whoa, whoa indeed. In the midnight hour, babe. It's a bizarre thing to yeah. know you have an extra hour every day. Yes. Yeah, yeah right. He's from Persona 3. It's midnight hour. Midnight now. That was so a I can appreciate the extra time. It's a good a fucking deep rip there. In that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, it's not real. And I'm insane for thinking it is. What do you think, Doctor? You are not insane. I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis. But it's good you're having a go anyway. I believe you. That's meaningless to me. Honest? Nice. Yeah. Is he using the, the gun one from three? Persona! That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, you little baby. What do we got hint wise? Why is it so hard to find someone who can use a shovel? Okay, why is it so hard to find someone who can use a oops, use a shovel? Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. I don't know what any of those things are. You can't are. use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Relics? The video games? Relic? I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. The best chess piece. The most freedom of movement. That's, that is but true. They took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance. Which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. Archaeologist. Archeo I can't help you there. You're good, because I probably didn't spell it right, so it's okay. Damn. Um. Digging? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. So we get, so this guy gets a fucking extra hour. I don't understand why I'm not getting notes. It's really weird. One of these did a thing. Yeah, there we are. Do you have any waifus? Are you a man of the ladies? He's a he's a grave digger. Grave digger. I'm a grave digger, doctor. Grave digger, doctor. And people are dying quicker than we can bury them. Did you murder Decker? Yes, Doctor Decker was murdered. Kel Surprise. Murder does seem a bit harsh, doesn't it? And another grave to dig. I'm excited about I it. I know as much about it as you do. Uh -huh. Less, I would imagine. I... Why would I know more about it? Why would I know about the murder? Okay. How's everybody doing in the chat? You guys having a good time? Did you... Ooh, that's a good idea. Yes. Barry Decker. I'm pro-cremation. 
Ah, of Not course just because are. I don't have to dig a grave. They still need a hole for the interment of ashes. I suppose. It's more dignified, like you're becoming one with the universe again. Rotting in a wooden box. Even if you turn completely into atoms, how would you escape? Even bits of the universe get lonely, I'd imagine. Universe? We're all alone to some extent. Oh boy, think? I think I opened up a whole terrible box. I don't have any friends, so I, I suppose that makes me lonely. In the midnight hour, though. In the midnight hour. I have as many friends as I like. Whoa. Do you have a favorite celebrity, Doctor? In the hour, I could take a picture of myself with them. Like, we're the best of friends. I do not have a favorite celebrity. I don't know. Okay. Aww. I always do that. Friends? I don't have anything for you. I don't have anything for you either there. Piggy. I have no knowledge of that. Take off your clothes. Is that something I should know about? Yes. <laughs> I retract my awe. <laughs> Hint. Oh, I didn't ask him about Decker? What do you, oops, what do you think of Decker? I didn't really like Dr. Decker, and for quite a few reasons, actually. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Okay. Wait, what do you say initially? I didn't really like Dr. Decker. Why didn't you like Decker? Yeah, there's got to be some reasons. Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. It's sometimes you got to do that, It was getting buddy. worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Hmm. Worse towards the end? I'm just fucking repeating what he's saying to get him talking more. Is that something I should know about? This fucking guy. Okay, so... Cremation? Okay. So, I still got something for the extra hour in this shovel. So it's extra hour. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. So, free hour? I have no knowledge of that. What did he do at the end? Oh, that's true. What did Decker do at the end? That doesn't mean anything to me. Don't give me that look, you stoogy little jerk. What do you do in the midnight hour? Do you cry more, more, more? In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. He was talking about chess before. Chess. I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then Shows. watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the queen. Queen? Oh yeah, that was the relic. Okay, so we've got... Got that. Uh, still more stuff with the... Okay, we got stuff for the extra hour. Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. I never see it coming. Bam, bam. Sit the minute of I go back. I never saw it coming. I'll never see it coming. All right. But, um... 
What do we got? Oh, uh, Henley Church. There's an H there. Church. You know, I didn't foresee the problem um, with a game where you type a lot. Uh, I can't spell. And I can't type for shit. I am god awful Henley at this shit. Is relatively small. Compared to well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack oh. into the ground, it's relatively small. Pack into the ground. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists, but they handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Okay. Or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Scientologists. Oh. Scientologists. That's probably not right. I can't help you there. Yeah, neither can I. Are you Harry Potter? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. You're a liar. Everybody knows about Harry Potter, especially British folk. What do you say? Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. It's a really weird... The whole building was once owned by Scientologists, but they handed it back to the community. Tax break? I don't have anything for you. Community. Community. Call community. I don't know. All right. Scientology. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. Okay. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Hmm. Why don't you believe in God anymore? I believe in God. I'm not sure God would have given a man an extra hour a day. Not just a single man. My extra hour is a gift, but sometimes it's a curse. Okay. Why is your extra hour a curse? I sound like I'm complaining, don't I? <laughs> I'll stop now. What else was in Scientology? Is my thing broke? I think my thing broke. I'm making sure my stuff didn't break. Hold on. Okay. God. Where did I get? Where did I get a camera from? Camera. I've taken a lot of pictures. Ah. I have great shots of all mm -hmm. the tourist sites. It's amazing what exposure you can use when moving cars are literally frozen still. Yeah, I guess it must it be the sense. sharp focus. Yeah. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I I'm that. not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, not anymore. <laughs> he took Mariana's camera. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? I don't think there are too many religions to pick from. That's meaningless to me. I was just hoping you were to whatever. Hint! Yes, there are too many religions. Then we agree. Yes. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable. I and the part about is. most religions stemming from the same basic facts. Yeah. It's more likely they've all got it wrong than one of them has got it right. Yeah! Alright, good. We're finished with Bryce. Does that mean we have two more ladies to mess around with? Yeah. Now we're talking. Back to the ladies. Ready for lady time. Let's go see Claire. Oh boy. 
Look at we, what we have here. Look at what we want here. Freak of the year. Hi. My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be able to speak, Doctor. Okay, Doctor. Small fortune. Being a witch has its perks, but honestly... You're rich? I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. Alright, let's see what a madness... Madness. I'm in a bit of a predicament, Doctor. I'll get to that. What is the issue? Well, according to your predecessor, My I'm predecessor. a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. It sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Uh, violence. Violence, not volence. Voelence. To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. Yes. And he provoked me. It is in your past, so it is a history of violence. It's literally what history of my... He provoked you. It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. What? Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How oh, predictable. jeez. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. What, what does that have to do with anything? David? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Okay. Is David still your husband? I'm obsessed with my husband. Good, I guess. It's absurd, really. Oh, yeah. Oh, tendencies. Tendencies! I'm going to have to plead ignorance on that one. Yeah, you are. Iris. Man, I was on a roll for a second there. Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. Ketchup chips. No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. It's just that I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Optometry was his dream, not mine. Wow. Wow. It took me a second to get that. Optetrician has an assistant. Guess what her name is? Uh -huh. Iris. It took me a good solid fucking minute to get that. All right, well, what's going on with I'm David? I'm obsessed with my husband. It's absurd, really. Why is it absurd? Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. Husband is here? Where is your husband? Your husband! Husband! Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. Why shouldn't he be here? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. Why did... Yeah. Is your husband dead? How did your husband almost die? My husband is not a well man. No, you're not a well lady. Problems for a while now. Uh huh. What problems? I really am a psychologist. I should have divorced him. I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. What could have been avoided? Our altercation. The downfall since. <sighs> Obsession? 
know anything about that doctor. Like, yeah, I know. She's like really fucking annoying me. Altercation. I tried to hurt David once. That's your history That's of why violence. I'm here, yeah. I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. Police? Sorry, Doctor, I can't answer that. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> right, because I didn't say any word to you. I just went, Pleh. Apparently, the Doctor has a speech impediment. The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, money. there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. What is from altercation? I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here. Hurt David? I stabbed him with a steak knife. Shocking, isn't it? Fuck me? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Stab me? Stab Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. I just want to I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. So... Did your husband... Husband die? I don't... He still is your husband, I'm right? obsessed with my husband. It's absurd, really. Okay, uh, the altercation... My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems. Okay, what is wrong with your husband? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Caring for him? David has trouble looking after himself. Okay. Sometimes What's wrong? I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. Staring into he the needs stars. Help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. We got a we got another achievement. Caring for him. Right. Delusional. Delusions. Yeah, delusions. As in seeing things that are not there. That's exactly what delusions I'm not are. Not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. I'm not delusional. When she says she's not delusional, I will have to believe her. His health. Is your husband sick? Okay, so we pulled it from out of here. So we still have altercation wrong and caring for him. His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last... The last few weeks? Since our altercation, he's become less and less active. Since you stabbed him? His mind's become less and less active too. Did you stab him in the brain? conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. Angry? Private? I never used to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? That's, yeah. And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Uh, music makes you lose control? Control? Sorry. I don't know. Uh, I don't think she liked Decker. How did you feel about Decker? 
stab Decker? The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that it didn't bring it. Did you like Decker? Okay. What was this one? Again? I never used to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to. Why would it be bad for you to lose control? Let's save that for another time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money, and I'm fairly sure my time is up. She wanted them chicks that didn't be it. Yeah, she's into that. She into that shit. She one of them crazy ladies. I don't know why I'm not getting notes for anybody else. That's really strange. It's like my stuff for Mariana just ended. That's truly weird. Alright. I'm not quite done with her yet. Let's see what we got. Hint. Lake house? She's one of them. She into that funky junk. Paper in hand. If I knew anything about that, I'd tell you. But I don't. Fine, I'll fucking talk to you about the lake house. David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my lake parents, house. but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. Oh, I'm done with her. Yay! Okay. I'm very... Yes, Marianne is clearly the one that matters. That's why she's the only one who gets notes. Okay, so, so far we have Nathan, who is repeating some days, right? So that's, that's weird. We have Mariana, who wakes up on the beach after some blackouts. God damn! She's a good, hi! She's a good looking lady. We have Bryce, who has some kind of Midnight hour, time travel-y, extra hour bullshit stuff. And then you have Claire, who... Her stuff doesn't seem weird. Not super strange, but I think there's something going on with her husband. Make something snap for him. Well, let's try it. Um, let's see. I found the keyboard. So let's try and see what's going on with Ellen. Oh. Oh, boy. Hi. Hello, Doctor. It's nice to meet you. Hello, Doctor. Doctor. How are you? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. Yes. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. Okay. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Work stressful? Oops, sorry. Work. Hello, Governor. We gotta put a little shrimp on the barbie. That's not right at all. It can be sad sometimes. Why is work sad? I don't like losing a patient. Oh. But that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. You... What? You don't get stressed... about work. But... work is stressful? It's not the job that stresses me. Oh. It's the people I work with. The other ah. nurses. Ooh. They're mean to me. Okay. Why are the nurses mean to you? Uh, let me just say for a second. For the game to actually have dialogue written in such a way that leads you just enough to want to act... She does kind of look like Ellie from Last of Us. Like an older Ellie. Like if Ellie grew up a bit. I could see that. I could see that. The, the writing is good enough that it, it gives you just enough for you to have the right kind of... Whoa, she got a little bit of a butt there. To find the right kind of question so you could move forward. Sorry, what do you mean? I mean, can you be more specific? Uh, okay, how about... Other nurses, me. They call me the angel of death because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. 
just oh. seems to happen that way. What shift do you work? I work in a nursing home for the elderly. Okay. They basically do end of life care. Hmm. things making yeah, sure we work patients are comfortable Sorry. Yeah. making sure they're not in any pain and I talk to them I keep them company you see that's actually a Some good of job them get pretty frightened about what's coming of course I mean well those of them that aren't out of it on meds I comfort them comfort them. I feel really bad I can't answer your questions um I like animals. Let's talk about that. Animals. I love animals, especially cats. I think everyone is either a cat person or a dog person. What are you, Doctor? What are you, Doctor? Um, I am a, I'm a dog person. Dr. Decker was a dog person. Maybe it's a therapist thing. It's probably a therapist thing. As I actually have a degree in psychology, so... I do like the usual her. things. Making sure the patients are comfortable. No pain? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. Ah, a little I herbal mean, remedies. Yeah. Imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? I don't like this uncomfortable thing. Your patients scared? That is frightening, isn't it? Stop isn't it tilting angle and zooming in. Dogs are way better. Unknown. No one should have to face that alone. Hmm. Herbal remedies. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Ask me something else. She seems... I mean, yeah, she's... They call me... Angel of death? They're old. People die when they're old. Okay. I mean, medically speaking, it's... Probably a lot more specific, I would imagine. Heart failure, or uh -huh. organ failure, or pneumonia. Pneumonia. They're all natural causes, though. I'm going to be mean. Do you kill your patients? Ah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Was a no pain one? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. I'm not trying to be mean. Especially when there are right. alternatives, like herbal remedies. Alternatives? I'm starting to get the hang of this. I'm, I'm really I'm starting to understand the gamey part behind it here. I'm a qualified herbalist. Herbalist. It's okay, you can laugh. Most people think herbalism is a joke. I mean... But I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with... Valerian, or passion flower, Valerian. and lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. So I think you made pretty much eight of those up. Yeah. Weed? I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. You are the weakest link. No. Sorry. Yeah, you are. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Well, Alright, what else do you find? Cat, go away. You've got 20 minutes. Chill. I do not want... No, I don't want to sleep through my last day on 
Or... Oh, I didn't ask her about Decker exactly. yet. Exactly. I feel like it's almost criminal. It's weird coming like back to a question after she last moments on Earth. You should be able to savor the experience, not sleep your way to death. I mean, it makes sense. I'll awake during death? I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should talk about you. Me? I don't know. Sorry. Do you like me? No. Sorry, I don't know. Ah, she doesn't like me. Decker. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Doctors. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Bone them. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. What problems? How did Decker help you? Shirt sure falls. Who are you? Yeah, I, I know. I know it's very keywordy. I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. Elin. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. You are on one of those dating shows. Dating show? I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. Okay, good. I'm glad. Um, 25? I don't know anything about that. You don't know anything about the number 25. So the other nurses they were mean to They call me the angel of death. I like the sepia because tone. Because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Please. Fault? I'd really like to be able to answer you, hmm. but I don't know what to say. Patience, death, your fault. I don't know, sorry. Ah, damn. What did she say about Decker? I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of oh. them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to I, do their I've got my Calorie burn. Dr. Decker was different. Okay. How was Decker different? He was a bit offbeat, but yeah, I liked him. But then I like most people. She seems nice. I like her. Okay. Uh... Exactly. I feel like it's Robbing people? I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should talk about you. I like you. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Ask me something else. She's super cute, though. Why should people savor the ex? Dying. I'm not saying anyone should be happy about dying. Yeah, sure. I've seen lots of people die, and it's a special moment. There's literally nothing else like it. I mean, true. You are freaking me out a little bit, lady. They call me the Angel of Death, because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Seems to happen with it. Yeah. Religious? Religious? I'd really like to be able to answer. I got a thing. Can you just let Ellen know that Terry called for her? Who the fuck is... Jay... Terry? Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. 
Well, that was really weird. I don't think she likes me very much. Okay. She just wrote on my fucking notes here, you stupid jerk. Why doesn't... Terry... Thank you. Thank, thank you. Oh, there's nothing else to go from there. All right. Um, what am I missing here? That's a good question. How many patients died on your Three last month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. What is wrong with Hilda? Hilda. She's one of the crotchety ones. Crotchety Always ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Telling me Never I'm the devil. Nice to say. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me though. She's gonna smother. You're gonna murder me in my sleep, aren't you? What? No. What? No. What? No. All right. I'm not gonna poke and prod at any of these. Maybe I might prod a little more of Mariana if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Come over here. Okay. The, 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 this lady. This lady. Oh, oh. That lady. Okay, you can't see her because she's walking around. Wait wait until she gets back in, in regular view. It's funny because they're all British, so they all say doctor. You miss that? We got ants? We have ants in our sink. I know. It's fucking ridiculous. It's because it's raining. I think there's a spot under the thing. Anyway. So I guess I can just check out for the day? Yeah. Um, sure. Let's move on to the next day. Oh, Doctor. Glad I caught you. Doctor. I thought you might want to hear what Ben had to say. Quick catch up? Who's Ben? Sure. Okay. What's going on with Ben? Ben? I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, Jaya. he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. Mario. Oh, jeez, um... Body? Yes. Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in his office. In your office. My office. I don't know exactly, but a stabbing of some kind. Stabbing. I knew it. We're getting the it's autopsy the lady. through at some point. I'll, I'll let you know when. Sorry, I don't have a clue. Yeah. Can I talk to the other patients? Yes, you know, the 14th of February, the day of love. Chill out, lady, jeez. Or remembering a massacre, which I just bore you. Massacre? Oh, what's going I'm not there? sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line. Oh, yeah. Work Ben? Sorry. I mean, work Ben. Work Ben. Sorry. Didn't you know? 
Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. Okay. I'm sure he's got some tales he could tell. Probably. What else? Police? The police wanted to know what I was I don't doing Valentine's night, question mark. Night, do. you know, when the body was found. I was at home, all on my lonesome. So I guess that makes me a suspect. Yes, it does. The suspect, you have suspect. Suspect? I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects, or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. Okay. There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew. Or someone who had access to the office. Yeah. Like little old me. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Heck yeah. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. Probably. They did mention I needed grief counselling, though, and I said you'd sort me out. <laughs> I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. That's very kind of you. Yeah. I guess it is. Thanks. Yeah, I don't really need to poke at the rest of these. Thank you, Jaya. I'm having a loop day. How are you? Oh, oh shit. Okay, just Nathan then. I, I kind of want to keep going. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Loop day? It's a do-over day. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? Jaya. You didn't know that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? No. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. You didn't know that yesterday. Can you remember where? I don't remember where. School? Oh yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. Well done, Doctor. Yeah. Secondary. Second. Yeah, a second something. Yeah, good. Wouldn't it be funny if my day loops if you fail to get a question mark? Secondary school. See? I agree. Of course. <laughs> and he just straight up leaves. Hmm. I guess I don't really much of a choice now, don't I? I'm having a loop day. Oh, what the fuck? Shit. Okay. All right. All right. You've got it's my interest now, Ken. You won't remember. Hmm. Yeah, at secondary school. It's been fun, but I've got a pill. He he gave us a different answer. Because I didn't fuck it up this time. Dr. Decker gave me this pill. He told me if I took it, I'd never have another loot day. It's got a small skull and crossbones on it. Should what I take the, the tablet, Doctor? Fuck. What? Uh. You 
Shit, no, no. I mean, no. He, he wouldn't give him something that would just kill him. Yeah, this game has some stuff, and I'm so fucking intrigued by it. How far along am I? Oh, good, I'm not even 20% through. Ooh, that's, wait, what's that other stuff? There's other stuff there. This, this mouth, this mouse is so tiny. They're talking. Good job. Thank you. I mean... Dr. Decker gave me this pill. He told me if I took it, I'd never have another loot day. Yes. Take the pill. Okay. Do it, don't be a bitch. See you on the flip side. This is straight up cyanide, he's just gonna die right in front of me. You have to swallow, dude. Well. Rip. Rip, ripperoni. Rip, rip, ripperoni. I'm having a loot day. No! Oh. Fuck! I'm having a loop day too! Jesus. Help me. I'm not sure that. Loop day? It's a do over day. You won't remember it. What's the name of your assistant again? Jay. Well done. Can you remember? School. Yeah, great. Is there anything you can say that's going to break this loop for me? You killed Decker. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Decker. Take the pill. I never mentioned a pill this time, or a tablet. What the hell is going on here? Are you reliving my days? Oh, yes. I'm looping with you. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Yeah. Yes. I'm reliving your days. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm God looking damn it. for. Yes. I'm... Yeah. No. I never mentioned a pill this time, or a tablet. What the hell is going on here? Are you reliving my days? Yes. <laughs> yeah, right, we're in it right now. I'm reliving your days. Something somewhere has changed since you arrived. Like some kind of sim theory. Sim theory? What the fuck is a sim theory? It's a thing. Some professor thing. believes we could be living inside a computer simulation. A simulation? Someone is controlling us. And there are millions of these sims. And someone somewhere behind a keyboard is just causing havoc. I'm starting to think you have that keyboard, Doctor. Wait, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Oh, gave me a vignette and got totally meta. Oh, oh, Oh man, this shit gets good. I am so fucking happy. I <laughs> each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. 20 minutes past 10. Keep up, Doctor. I think we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David is my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death when I'm <laughs> dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just. Naked on the beach. And is that it for today? This is so friggin' good. I just snapped that fourth wall in half. Just kick it down. Mm. Whoa. Deja vu. Are you sitting in exactly the same place I left you last night? Oh, that's yes. That's where it all starts, Doctor. Doctor. Mm. Anyway, do you think you can fit me in today? Looking yeah. at the diary, it's just the usual suspects, and you must be getting sick of them. 
already. I mean, Jaya! I've got this for you. I like this lady. Too. It's some more footage from Professor Alderby that was hiding away. Professor Alderby? Oh! Is that Evans? Well, I'll take a look at that. Come find me if you need anything. And if you need something, I'll go ahead and, uh... Might be right, though. Uh, God. Who the hell... Who are these? Who's Lacey? Oh, boy. Hi. You look like something. Jasmine. Who's Jasmine? Show me the Jasmine. Oh. And... Have a seat, Jasmine. So that I may gaze upon you. Lady. Hello. Oh, you look like a younger girl. All right, Bryce. How you doing, Bryce? What's this? Clues. Oh, he's wearing shoes today. Oh, I forgot to check on Claire. Ellen, how's it going? She doesn't look happy today. Claire. Oh, she's all dressed up. Fancy pants. Would you shut up, cat? Cripes. I will feed you momentarily. The cats are very hungry. It's 10 o'clock. I need to feed them. And Mariana. Okay, she straight up looks like a mermaid. Like, legitimately. So let's take a look at the alchemy footage. Nothing, of course. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Isn't it? The cats are ruining my immersion Him, as well. God, the great old one, the elder god, Cthulhu. Oh, what shit. Listen to me. You're not listening. It's your only bloody job. Well, let's call him God. That's he not. creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. I don't think Cthulhu Our really cares about chaos. that stuff. But something goes wrong. Man and woman involved. What? What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. Stop pulling on my thing. Without chaos, he has less power. We love craft, oh, we're so love craft and now hard. So he needs to instill chaos again. Do you know how he does this? Madness. No. And yes, but you're it's being madness. too granular. He just needs makes people chaos crazy. so he can return, and the only thing stopping him is you. Not Me specifically? You. Okay. You and people like you. Psychiatrists, doctors, nurses. Anyone who is caring for people who are losing their sanity. You have no comprehension how important your job is, do you? He doesn't need your version of insanity to spread. He needs chaos. It's not the same. It's just a means to an end. They're not all cultists, unfortunately. Once you see the truth, it's hard not to spread chaos yourself, to cause further insanity and harm your own. I doubt it. But can I make you question your reality? Definitely. But in doing so, I would be promoting more chaos. Don't, don't On do that. On the basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. We are the Deus Ex. can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. As by definition, chaos is unpredictable from one moment to the next. That's kind of the point Which of chaos. That I at understand any that. given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world, no matter how much chaos that would cause. Ten seconds time, there will be no gravity in this room, and we will float. Three, two, one. Oh. You think nothing happened? Where's your glass, Doctor? What the fuck is going on? Holy shit balls. Alright, can we... Can we come back to the game? Ah, oh, alright. That was... That was something else. Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright, so I need to talk to everybody about Valentine's Day. I wonder... 
Yay! I just hit a thousand views. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, Theo. Theo Miss. The Omniscient Man. That's what it is. The Omniscient Man. I was trying to figure out how to say your name. So I'm gonna. God damn. I'll be honest. I want to come back to this. I really do. But I've got a lot to, to, to come back to. And honestly, I need to go to bed. But holy crap. I want to finish this. So if I don't finish this, um, if I don't get a chance to do this tomorrow, which I don't think I will because I've got Dungeons and Dragons, but the next time I'm up for this thing, yeah, we're going to knock this thing out. At the very least, I'll put the rest of this on my YouTube channel. So thank you all so very much for watching, and we will come back to this soon. I'll put notifications on. So thank you again. And uh, yes, I am controlling my stream from my phone because I'm a network geek. Welcome to Nerdland. Alright, have a good night, guys. Don't fuck it up.